the entrance antiphon. Be my protector, O God, a mighty stronghold to save me. For you are my rock, my stronghold. Lead me, guide me for the sake of your name. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who teach us that you abide in hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. The man had relations with his wife Eve, and she conceived and bore Cain, saying, I have produced a man with the help of the Lord. Next she bore his brother Abel, and Abel became a keeper of flocks, and Cain a tiller of the soil. In the course of time, Cain brought an offering to the Lord from the fruit of the soil, while Abel, for his part, brought one of the best firstlings of his flock. The Lord looked with favor favor on Abel and his offering, but on Cain and his offering he did not. Cain greatly resented this and was crestfallen. So the Lord said to Cain, Why are you so resentful and crestfallen? If you do well, you can hold up your head. But if not, sin is a demon lurking at the door. His urge is toward you, yet you can be his master. Cain said to his brother Abel, Let us go out in the field. When they were in the field, Cain attacked his brother Abel and killed him. And the Lord asked Cain, Where is your brother Abel? He answered, I do not know. Am I my brother's keeper? Then the Lord said, Why have you done what have you done? Listen, your brother's blood cries out to me from the soil. Therefore you shall be banned from the soil that opened its mouth to receive your brother's blood from your hand. If you till the soil, it shall no longer give you its produce. You shall become a restless wanderer on the earth. Cain said to the Lord, My punishment is too great to bear. Since you have now banished me from the soil, I must avoid your presence and become a restless wanderer on the earth. Anyone may kill me at sight. Not so, the Lord said to him. If anyone kills Cain, Cain shall be avenged sevenfold. So the Lord put a mark on Cain, lest anyone should kill him at sight. Adam again had relations with his wife, and she gave birth to a son whom she called Seth. God has granted me more offspring in place of Abel, she said, because Cain slew him. The word of the Lord. 
offer to God a sacrifice of praise. Offer to God a sacrifice of praise. God the Lord has spoken and summoned the earth from the rising of the sun to its setting. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you, for your burnt offerings are before me always. Offer to God a sacrifice of praise. Why do you recite my statutes and profess my covenant with your mouth, though you hate discipline and cast my words behind you? Offer to God a sacrifice of praise. You sit speaking against your brother. Against your mother's son you spread rumors. When you do these things, shall I be deaf to it? Or do you think that I am like yourself? I will correct you by drawing them up before your eyes. Offer to God a sacrifice of praise. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I am the way, the truth, and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. The Pharisees came forward and began to argue with Jesus, seeking from him a sign from heaven to test him. He sighed from the depth, from the depth of his spirit and said, Why does this generation seek a sign? Amen, I say to you, no sign will be given to this generation. Then he left them, got into the boat again, and went off to the other shore. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> well, it's not long after the fall of Adam and Eve that things turned pretty sour for humanity. Um, as everything gives away to entropy and spirit, especially spiritual entropy, as things tend towards sin and tend toward darkness. Uh, you have brother killing brother. Cain slays Abel. And it's the same reason that Satan fell. Um, many people think it's because of pride, and yes, pride is part of every sin, but it's because of Satan's envy that he fell from heaven his envy of humanity. And Cain's envy of his brother Abel, because it says, the Lord looked with favor on Abel and his offering. Why did he look with favor upon Abel? Because Abel gave the first fruits of what he had to offer. He gave the best things to the Lord. Cain gave what was left over. There is a hierarchy of goods. There is a hierarchy of perfection. We hear this from Jesus when the rich young man comes to him and says, you know, what must I do to ent enter uh, the kingdom of heaven? And Jesus says, obey the commandments. Don't commit adultery. Don't steal. Don't lie. Honor your father and mother. Don't kill. And the young man says, well, I've been doing these things. And he says, well, if you want to be perfect, Sell everything you have, give to the poor, and follow me. So he's saying, well, there's something that's good, but there's something that's better. And this hierarchy of goods or this hierarchy of perfection, it seems to me that anyone who is above us, who's giving more to the Lord, it threatens us or, or convicts us or uh, maybe even offends us because maybe we're not doing it. And essentially, this is what's happening to Cain. 
he sees that Abel gave God the best of what he had to offer, and it made him look bad. Uh, I know people who go to church every Sunday, and in their neighborhood, they're known as that, that church family, that Catholic family, or people who go every day, and they're known as uh, super religious, or there are people who take their faith actually seriously, God forbid, in this culture. And they're known as Jesus freaks. Whenever we offer God more, whoever's not doing that is threatened. So it's the same thing that goes way back to even the first humans. This hierarchy of goodness, this hierarchy of perfection. And when you're higher up, when you're giving more to the Lord, it makes someone else upset. But that does not mean that we should stop doing it or stop striving uh, to do it. This is what the Lord says to Cain. He's trying to warn him. Why are you so resentful and crestfallen? He asked Cain. If you do well, you can hold your head up high. But if not, sin is a demon lurking at your door and his urge is toward you. But he even offers him encouragement. Yet you can, and hope, you can be his master. You don't have to succumb to the temptations of the evil one. You don't have to succumb to your resentfulness and your envy. And in the same way, whatever sin that we're fighting, wherever Satan has us and has been um, controlling us and manipulating us, Jesus says the same thing. That's why he comes. You don't have to stay there. You don't have to remain a slave. I have conquered sin and I have conquered this world, I have conquered even death. And if you want, you can be free. It's the beautiful gift of reconciliation. When we fall to sin, uh, Jesus is there to lift us out. He's there to restore us to say, okay, let's try that one again. We'll get it. So brothers and sisters, I love Genesis because there's so much, it's so rich in um, in our theology and in um, humanity and the way the world works. Uh, let us give God our first fruits. Let us give him everything. Let us strive for that perfection or that higher place in that hierarchy of goods. Even if it upsets someone or offends someone, um, it pleases God and this is what matters. On this altar, we place the repose of the soul of, Bra of Bob Dremel, as well as your prayers, intentions, and offerings. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us. And may it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. 
Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, in Him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in His fullness. For though He was in the form of God, He emptied Himself, and by the blood of His cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore He has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey Him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command informed by divine teaching. We Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The communion antiphon. They ate and had their fill, and what they craved the Lord gave them. They were not disappointed in what they craved. For those who could not receive communion today for any reason, we pray the prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, as though you have already come. I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. The Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass has ended. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. St. Joseph, pray for us.